And this is the command of the Lord to you and myself. You can also read Mark 17, 15 to 18. You can put it down. And a disciple is, is different from mentee, honestly. Even when you put it on, is it Wikipedia? Wikipedia. It will tell you. Even them acknowledge when you say meaning of disciple, what do they tell you? A personal follower of Christ during his life, especially one of the 12 apostles, that's a disciple. And we are disciples because we believe in what Jesus said and he did while he was here. Right? So they know who a disciple is. If we check men mentor, I be mentee. Is different, and I've told you people with the different men mentors just want to <laughs> mentors don't want to follow, <laughs> they just want you to tell them what to do. I don't know if that makes sense. Mentees, thank you. Mentees don't follow, they just want you to tell them what to do. Disciples follow. So if you are somebody's mentee, it's different from being somebody's disciple. Hmm? Mentee wants you to give them opportunity. Yes or no? Mentee wants you to give them platform. Mentee wants you to give them, showcase them. Mentee wants you to, do you understand? Eh? Mm. Mentee wants you to polish them and say, That's what mentees want from you. And that's what I have found from a lot of people. Because I want you to mentor me. I cannot mentor you. I say it very clearly. I can't mentor you. But if you want to be a disciple, yeah. If you come to me to say mentor you, I don't want to mentor you. Because what you are expecting of me, I can't give you. But if you want to be discipled, I can disciple you. Because I'm discipling you to be like Christ, not me not me not me if i'm mentoring you i'm showing you i'm showing you what i've achieved i'm showing you how you can achieve it no i am not mentoring you i want to show you jesus because me i'm still following him i have not arrived do you understand me so that's what a disciple is totally different can teach you about myself can teach you about Jesus I'm not supposed to teach you about myself I'm supposed to teach you about Jesus right and anything about me I tell you if it's not reflecting Jesus there's no point it's not necessary do you understand me if I tell you my testimony and he's not giving Jesus glory and he's not making you see Jesus even more then that testimony is taken from Jesus and is not necessary. If it comes to a place where the testimony is about what I did, as opposed to how Jesus helped me, right? It's no longer about him. And that's what mentees want from mentors. And that's why I am not a man. I am not a, I am not a, what am I, what am I, what am I, I've just told you, and this is a disclaimer, those online as well, please, I'm not a mentor, don't come to me, to mentor you, if you want to be discipled, come, all right? And there's a place for mentors okay okay there are things there are things i've learned right in the secular world that i can mentor you i don't know if that makes any sense I don't even know it doesn't make sense to me my life is not even different the secular and the spiritual for me i don't have a different life so i can never be a good mentor to take me out of it 
But if you want to follow Jesus, let's go together. So don't be a mentee. I just want to come and take from Jesus to go and showcase. You want to take to go and showcase. You don't want a relationship. Are you hearing me? You don't want a relationship. You want to take and showcase. So when, you know, it's time to come and minister, that's when you go for three days fasting. You know, I, I spoke to some people and said, sir, how do you prepare to minister? And I tell you, you know, I, I, I go into fasting. I don't go into fasting all the time to minister. I don't. I say I go into three days fasting. And then I, I begin to pray and check the word. Fantastic. So how do you prepare when you're not ministry? Now let me put it this way. How do you prepare when you are ministering unto the Lord in front of people? I fast and pray. I wait on the Lord. I, I wait to hear what he wants to say, how he wants to say it. And I, you know, I stay there. Okay. How do you prepare to minister unto the Lord when it's not before people? Huh? Did I confuse anybody? Should I ask again? How do you prepare to minister unto the Lord when you want to minister in front of people? Huh? I fast seven days dry, some people three days dry, you know, because I want the glory to come. The glory must drop. It must drop. It must be tangible. They must feel it. Right? They must feel it. Everyone that comes must fall. <laughs> That's what shows the glory, right? If they don't fall, the glory is not there. Everyone that comes must, something must happen. You must see people doing like this. <laughs> because you want me to stand in front of people. I ask, how do you prepare? When you want to minister unto the Lord, not before people. How? Do you still fast? Do you still fast? Three days dry. You're not ministering to anybody. You're not going to see people. You're just ministering unto the Lord. Do you still read the word? No engagement. No ministerial engagement. You still pray? Huh? They are not going to give you the mic to skabosh. Do you still pray? Do you still read the word? Do you still fast? Or you don't think it is ministering unto the Lord? It's only ministering unto the Lord when you stand in front of the people. Right? Until your normal life becomes a spiritual life. You have not gotten there. Your normal day-to-day -day life needs to be spiritual. And that's why Riazal is spiritual. In Riazal, the heavens can come down. In Riazal, bondage can be loosened. In Riazal, people can be set free. They don't need to be there in rehearsals. You are not, nobody is there. You are just rehearsing. You are just talking to him. Nobody is there. And you are liberating many even in their houses. Because you understand that you are ministering unto the Lord. The crowd doesn't matter. The people don't matter. The Lord matters. And this is how you can come before people. This is how you can come before people and not care about their faces. Because you minister unto the Lord. It's a way of life. It's a normal thing for you. It's not something you are doing to, to show anybody. Who cares?
and I'm not you might say oh I don't take mic whether you take mic or not whether you take mic or not if God gives you a position in an office there is a purpose you take charge there you do what you take charge there you speak with understanding there you take grounds and territories there first from the place of prayer that's a disciple every disciple will not take microphone every disciple will not stand in front of people that's why there'll be surprises in heaven you will see people that have won so that you never knew they were not on billboards they will never be on billboards so if what you really like is billboard continue if what you really like is attention continue because there are people doing the work that you you know nothing about you never see them in this part of eternity you will never see them so if you're on the billboard you better be doing the work because the shame will be much in your office in your school how do you live your life ministering unto the Lord constantly Or do you have different lives? If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. You can send me. I am available. He said, I have given you authority. Therefore, go. You go by his authority. By your ideas. At the end, no, no, no. Can use anyone or you can use you can send me you can use me I'm available available why will you send a donkey when I'm here why if humans will not hear you will see cats talk I've told you people sit down there it's going to happen you will not hear you will not want to pay the price you want to be comfortable you want convenient life. You want convenient Christianity. Your cat will talk. Your cat will prophesy. Your goat will prophesy. Your dog will prophesy. You'll be shocked. You, 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 if, if God help you if you survive it, because you might just die from there. So if they are begging you to love on your Jesus, they are begging you to serve your Jesus, you are still in the multitude zone. If they are still begging you to have time for him, to give him your time, you are still in the multitude zone. When you become a disciple, they don't beg you. They are saying to him, what do you want me to do, Lord? I don't want you to use a dog. I don't want you to use a donkey. Use me. Send me. You have already even sent me from your word. Just in case I didn't hear the call, call me again. Call me again in case I was not hearing. Call me again because I want to go. I want to give. I want to give my all. What am I living for if I'm not giving it? What am I amounting to if I'm not giving it? What am I amassing if I'm not giving you my time? What am I trying to build? What business am I building? What reputation am I building? If I'm not giving you my time and my all. What, what, what exactly am I putting together? What life am I living if I'm not living for you? What life am I living if I'm not your disciple? If I'm not standing for you? If I'm not standing for righteousness? If I'm not...